let's have a look at some exam style rotation questions. So this question here asks us to rotate this triangle 180 degrees about the origin. So before we begin, I just want to emphasise the fact there are three key pieces of information that come with rotation questions. So one is the centre of rotation. So in this case, that's the origin, zero, zero. Uh, the second key piece of information is the degrees you rotate by. And the third key piece of information is the direction you rotate. So whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise. OK, so in this question, we have our centre of rotation as the origin. The degrees to rotate is 180 degrees. And notice it doesn't actually matter what direction you rotate because 180 degrees is the same clockwise and counterclockwise. So that's why it doesn't say that in this question. OK, so the first thing to do when you get a rotation question like this is to mark on your diagram where the centre of rotation is. So in this case, we're rotating about the origin. So I'll do a cross here. So that's the point zero, zero. And that's the point we rotate about. It's worth writing it on here because even if the rotation goes wrong, you'll probably get a mark for marking this point on the diagram. The next thing you'll want to do is get a piece of tracing paper and put it on the top. In exams, you should be given tracing paper. If you're practicing at home and don't have any, I think sometimes putting a thin piece of paper over it works well, or putting a piece of paper on top and then putting it up to a computer screen or something bright works as well. So once you've got your tracing paper on top, take a pencil and you want to mark the same point on the tracing paper. So we've just marked the origin here, but we're gonna mark it again on the tracing paper. You're then gonna do an upwards arrow coming from the cross. You're also going to draw around the shape that you want to rotate. So you don't have to be too precise, but something like that looks good. So three things to draw on the tracing paper, the cross where you're rotating about, an arrow pointing upwards, and you also need to draw around the shape. Now on the side of the piece of paper, what I like to do, so this is now not on the tracing paper, but on your actual question paper, I want you to draw what this arrow will look like when rotated the number of degrees in the question. So here I want to draw what this arrow is going to look like when it's rotated 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, that's like halfway around. So the arrow, we want to look like this once we've rotated it. The next thing you do is get your pencil again and press it onto the centre of the cross of where we want to rotate about and press quite hard. So our pencil is sort of going to act as a split pin as we rotate the tracing paper about without moving the paper. So we're going to put our pencil here and rotate this 180 degrees. And it's sometimes a bit confusing to work out how far you've rotated the paper. But what I do to help is basically you stop turning when the arrow is pointing the same way as the arrow on the side of your paper. So we want to turn this arrow until it's pointing downwards. So just look at the arrow. Don't worry about the shape at the moment. So here the arrow is pointing downwards. So we stop rotating. We can now take the pencil off the paper and this is the answer here. So this is where we want to draw our shape. This is this shape rotated 180 degrees about the origin. So what you want to do is be kind of careful here. You want to try and mark these, the corners of this triangle on the actual paper below. So here, this corner is four minus two. So if I pick that up, I can put a cross where four minus two is. This corner is two minus six. So if I lift this up, two minus six is here. And this one is two minus two. So two minus two, I can put that as here. So we can just double check on the tracing paper. That looks right. So I can remove this paper now. We won't need that anymore. And all that I need to do now is join up the points I've marked. Okay, so that's the answer. That's this shape rotated 180 degrees about the origin. You can double check that again with the tracing paper. Now we've drawn it properly. So if you line it on top, put your pencil on the cross, rotate until the arrow is pointing down, you see that now this triangle lines up pretty much on here. Oh, I moved it slightly, but yeah. So you can see it's correct. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, so this question says, rotate this shape 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point two minus two. So let's just check these key bits of information. So we've got the center of rotation, two minus two. We want to rotate it 90 degrees and it's telling us to rotate anti-clockwise. I'd really recommend if you're doing this in an exam just to like highlight or underline these three key bits of information because that's where the marks are. So step one, mark on your actual question paper the centre of rotation. So two minus two. So let's do a cross here. Then next step is get your tracing paper, put it on top. 
then with a pencil, you want to mark that cross again, do an arrow pointing upwards, and then draw around this shape. Okay, and on the side, on the actual question paper, I want you to draw what this arrow is going to look like once it's rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is going to be this way and 90 degrees is just like this. So the arrow is going to be pointing this way. Okay, then you get your pencil and you sort of act like a split pin. So if you put your pencil on the cross, make sure you put your pencil on the cross, not the origin or something. It's always the cross where the centre of rotation is. So you put your pencil here and we're going to rotate this paper until the arrow is pointing that way. So, okay. So here the arrow is pointing that way. So we stop rotating. And so this is now where our rotated shape needs to be. So again, we now need to be a bit careful and transfer this shape onto the actual paper. So this corner is minus four, one. So I'm just going to put this up here, minus four, one. And then using a ruler, you should join up the corners of the shape. And you can just double check it, why not? So put your pencil in there, rotate it, and yeah, it lines up pretty well. So that is our shape rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Let's have a look at another question. So this question is a little bit different. Here it's asking us to describe the transformation taking shape A to shape B. So here it's not asking us to do the rotation, but it's telling us instead there's a transformation that's happened. Um, we need to work out, do some detective work to find out what it was. So there are four key types of transformations. I think it's pretty clear by looking at it that it's got to be a rotation because the shape is definitely turned. Taking A to B, you've definitely got to turn it somehow. And it hasn't got bigger or smaller, so it's unlikely to be an enlargement. It's a bit tricky to see how you can reflect, put a mirror to get A to B. So I think it's kind of clear it's going to be a rotation. You'll definitely get one mark in an exam for saying rotation here. Now we also need to find out what the centre of rotation is and all of these things in fact. So to work backwards I think the easiest thing to do is to get a piece of tracing paper and put it on top. Let's draw around the original shape. Now the next thing we want to do is to find out what the centre of rotation is. So I always think rotations are a bit hard to describe because it's kind of hard to find the centre of rotation. I think the easiest thing to do is to sort of guess points and see if it works. So try and be a bit clever about it. So I think if we if we put our pivot somewhere up here, um, you're not going to get you're not going to get the right direction for the shape. That's not going to work. So I think putting it over here somewhere is more sensible. Um, but you see here, we're kind of missing the shape, so that's not quite right. So I think have a play around with the points nearby, about this one. We're getting closer. Um, let's try this one. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so you see I've put my pencil here and we've successfully overlapped the shape. So, so the centre of rotation is going to be this point here minus two zero so let's mark that on our diagram here minus two zero and let's write minus two zero so we'll definitely get a mark for that you'll probably get a mark for each of these things as well so i reckon in total this would be a four mark question so we've got our center of rotation the question is how many degrees did we rotate that and which direction so i think if we overlay this again so we've got our cross um, on our centre of rotation and we've got our outline shape. Now we sort of work backwards from our usual tactic. So remember before when we had our tracing paper on we drew an arrow pointing upwards. Let's draw that again and let's see what direction this arrow gets taken to when we rotate the paper to overlay this triangle on top of B. So use our pencil as the pivot so we're putting our pencil here and we're turning this. To, until it overlaps with B. Okay, so it's here. So if you look here, the arrow is pointing this way. So the arrow has gone from being upwards to pointing to the right. So that's going to be a 90 degree rotation. And so it's gone from pointing this way and we've rotated it this way to get it to point that way. That tells me it's got to be a 90 degree rotation. And the direction is clockwise. 
And so yeah, that should give you four marks for identifying the rotation and then for identifying the three key facts about the rotation. And I really recommend using this arrow technique for both the cases where you're describing your transformation and for when you're actually doing the rotation yourself, as I think it um, reduces the chances of making mistakes when you're rotating. Thanks for watching. Here's another video I think you'll like. Here's another video YouTube thinks you'll like. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Who knows? If you like this video and want to see more aesthetic messy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe.